Hi, I'm Norm Stockton. I am here with the Galleon Kruger MB Fusion. And together with its big brother, the MB Fusion 800, these are like the Darth Vader's of GK's acclaimed MB series of amps. It's an all tube preamp, so you've got three 12AX7s in there. Um, it's the same preamp as the very famous uh, Fusion 550, less the motorized faders. But because of the fact it's a Class D amp, um, you can have 500 watts into four ohms at under five pounds. Uh, American built and designed, and it's it's pretty stellar stuff. So um, why don't I go ahead and quickly uh, talk us through the uh, the features on the uh, front and rear panels, and then we'll go control by control, and you can kind of hear what's going on here. By the way, I say this in all of these clips because it's really important. If you want to get a good idea of what you're listening to, you definitely don't want to listen through computer speakers um, or, or your cell phone. Um, those don't have any sort of low-end uh, capability. So definitely plug in some headphones or some speakers so you can really hear what's going on. Okay, so in terms of the front panel, pretty straightforward. You've got your input jack, obviously. You have a 14 dB pad, tuning mute, gain A and B, which is a very cool thing to be able to set two different gain settings up front. You have your contour, which is a bit of tone shaping. We'll talk about that in a second. In the case of the MB Fusion, by the way, you also have these switches up on the top. So you have a contour, you could switch between which uh, center frequency for the mids that you're uh, cutting. And again, we'll talk about that in a second. You've got presence and uh, deep, and then you have a limiter defeat over here on this side as well. But then you have uh, GK's famous four band EQ. Awesome stuff, sounds great. Foot switchable, gain A and B, which you can approach that in a couple of different ways. I'll talk about that in a second. You have your master volume, and then on the rear panel, you have a DI with pre and post EQ send, so you can uh, switch between the two. There's a ground lift. You have a foot switch jack, tuner out jack, uh, effects send and return, switchable headphone or line out, um, and then you have your speak on outputs. Okay, so in this case here, you can see that I've got the 14 dB input pad activated because I am definitely uh, pushing a little bit of air, and I want to make sure that, in fact, I'm not clipping any, any part of the input stage on unnecessarily or unintentionally rather is a better way to put that. But if you're playing like a passive bass, you may not even need to worry about that. Now, by the way, I'm also miking a Neo 112 cabinet and uh, blending between the DI and the mic'd cab, okay? Next up, you have your uh, tuning mute, which works again in conjunction with that tuning output on the back. So one of, one of the things I love about GK stuff is like, that is an idiot proof light right there, you know? It's like, you can see that from across the stage. It's like, oh yeah, you know, that's why I'm not getting any volume, you know? But uh, very, very helpful control there to be able to tune uh, between tunes without having everybody in the venue participating in that experience. So anyway, um, then you have your gain A and gain B. So one of the awesome things with an all tube preamp is that you can get some saturated tones and really kind of explore that space a little bit. So in this case here, you see that gain A is lower and not hitting those input stages as hard. Gain B is definitely hitting them a little harder. In a second, I'm just going to kind of go down this linear, linearly, in a linear fashion. Um, and down here, you see that you have independent controls over those output levels. So uh, even though gain B is definitely hotter, I can bring that down or I can bring it up or I can do whatever I want to make those, uh, you know, I can set them however I want to set them. So very, very convenient stuff. In terms of the contour, this is a common feature on GK amps and very, very powerful stuff. When it's all the way counterclockwise, it's disengaged, and so it's basically flat. However, when you bring it up, it dips the mids and brings up the lows and highs. So it's commonly referred to as a smiley face EQ. So check it out. Listen to this, okay? So, you know, you got this sort of thing going. So it definitely kind of thins it out. Now, on the uh, top panel of the MB Fusion, you also have a couple of switches here. This contour switch allows you to go back and forth, or you can switch between 500 hertz or 800 hertz in terms of what that center frequency is for that. So, you know, it's a subtle thing, but it definitely changes the voicing. Check it out. I'll basically leave it flat again. So here we go. Going to 500. So it definitely affects the tone. Um, so you can kind of go and decide what you're going for. I will 
pretty much leave that flat just so we can really hear what's going on with the rest of this voicing. Now, while we're on this top panel though, you also have presence on off, which is up around 10K and it, it basically gives you that sort of nice sparkle, which is more apparent when you're doing stuff, you know, kind of just gives it that nice little, right? Um, then deep is basically down around 30 hertz, so it's definitely down there in the cellar. I'm going to go easy on that so I don't blow up my input stages with this recording setup, but you can experiment around with that and definitely add some subs. Then you have your GK Classic 4-band EQ. It's found on all of their amps. It's derived all the way from the 800RB, the legendary head that started it all. And uh, this EQ set the bar then and continues to sound amazing. In terms of the highs, you know, you can give it some sparkle. So then with your high mids, so it's like, you know, Give it definitely some bark there, right? And then uh, your low mids. Definitely gives it some girth and some punch. And then your bass, and I'm gonna go easy on this again so I don't blow up anything. definitely thin it out or add some serious bottom. In terms of the foot switchable settings between gain A and B, you can see that I've got both of my uh, volume pots down, almost down to nothing because I've got, I have got an open cab with an open mic in this room and uh, it's just the nature of trying to record this. But the idea is basically you can have independent gain settings and have, you know, you can have that gain be cranked all the way if you wanted to and just really have some serious dirt and some crunch. But you can then bring down the gain B level to match what's happening with gain A. So that's one way to work it. Or alternatively, if you want to, you can have them both hitting the preamp at about the same level and then just have gain B louder so that it's, you know, when you engage the foot switch, then basically it'll just bump up. It's, it'll allow you to play that thunder lick a little bit louder, you know? So it's a very flexible thing, but yeah, in this case here, so game B is engaged now, game B is disengaged. So, and then this is your master volume right here. And again, with your uh, limit or defeat switch up on top. So basically anytime you're really pushing some air, it's a good idea to have the limiter on, but otherwise I'm not pushing a ton of air in here, obviously, because I've got an open mic, so um, that's off, okay? In terms of the rear panel, you have GK's great sounding DI with a uh, switchable pre or post EQ. So that allows you to send the front of house uh, whatever they, they need. You know, if you're doing any sort of radical EQ on stage, just to make it sound right for you there, then that may not be the best thing for the front of house. So you can send a pre EQ signal to them if you want to. And there's a ground lift, which is another very convenient feature. Uh, foot switch jack, tuner out jack, which again works in conjunction with that switch right there. So you can uh, tune between tunes. And then uh, you have your effects center return, headphone, uh, switchable between headphone and line out. So again, this makes a killer practice amp for a bedroom, but then you just plug in your cabinets into the speak ons here and you have a thunderous rig for, uh, for live stuff as well. All this, did I mention that it's four and a half pounds and fits into a gig bag? <laughs> uh, it's the much sought after GK tone, tons of features, serious punch and extreme portability. It's awesome, amazing value as well. I always tell people, don't take my word for it. Go to a GK dealer and check this out on your own. And I think you'll agree, it's just amazing stuff. The Galleon Cougar MB Fusion. Uh, by the way, you can also go to galleon.com to read up more on this. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. I'm Norm Stockton, God bless you. I hope to see you on the road.